No. <laughs> right, right, no, there's a no, 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 no. Then I need to head in there, and I need to head in there. Fuck my channel. Da da da. There we go. Evening, Shane. Evening, Paul. Happy New Year, folks. Actually, it's it's technically still a New Year holiday here because uh, I, I completely forgot, but the Scotland celebrates New Year for the 1st and the 2nd of January. Evening, everyone. Yep, TD, there's still some nuclear fallout going on with that Ben thing, though. <laughs> How come you get two hauls? I don't know, Robbie, but the 1st and 2nd of January are both New Year holidays in Scotland. I completely forgot about it when I was heading up to the fucking office today. Standing at the fucking bus stop, waiting in the bus, and I'm going, the fucking bus is, and I was fucking freezing fucking cold outside, and I was standing waiting for half an hour, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just walk up, so I did, I walked up, I walked through the high street, everything was closed, like everything, it was like almost as if it was fucking New Year's Day, everything was closed apart from Iceland, right, so I popped into Iceland, got myself a pint of milk from my tea, and a couple of uh, yum yum things, the donutty things covered in icing, then I headed up to the, I headed up to the office, the office was all shuttered. Nobody was in, and I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then I remembered, 2nd of January is a national holiday for New Year in Scotland as well. Completely fucking forgot about it. Finally put the graphics card down. Fucking hell, Danny. <laughs> you had that since October of last year, dude. <laughs> Happy New Year, Kieran. Yeah, that's right, Robbie. Ben's video's gone. Do you go out for a night? Nah, Largs. Largs is fucking way up there. I need to get a bus to Largs, and I don't like getting on buses for long journeys. Is the UK Vape Show on tomorrow, Vic? It should be, Shane. Now uh, the UK Vape Show should be coming on tomorrow. What do you reckon will happen next with the full Ben and Vupu shit? We can only wait and see Paradise. We won't see what the full damages are until probably summer. But I can tell you now, the anti-e-cig lobby are having fucking fun with that video. They're definitely having fun. Happy New Year, Trevor. How you doing, Dex? Sorry for the post that started a massive comment fest. Ah, no worries, Mike. No worries. Did you see Mum in Iceland? Apparently she... That's right, because only mums go to Iceland. Mm-hmm. Vupu, best company, hands down. Thank you for shouting, Minnesota. However, your opinion sucks. Bye-bye. Hi, Vic. Happy New Year. How you doing, kid? Vic, do you have the Lux 200 there? Can the marble panels be flat, then swapped around for a plainer look? I don't know. I've got the Lux 200 up in the studio. I'll check that. I'll check that. I don't think it can. I don't think the panels can be flipped. I'll need to check when I head up the studio tomorrow. How you doing, vape... How the hell do you pronounce that? Vapeviously? How you doing, Stuart? How you doing, Andy? Village Vapor, how you doing? How you doing, Yankee? Happy New Year, Simon. How you doing, Alan P? Any more DIY juice videos coming back? I'm actually planning out a couple I Am Jawa, but it's probably not going to be... It's probably not going to be until spring. Uh, a couple of a couple of extra, um, a couple of extra eSig one hundred one uh, e liquid DIY videos, like more simpler recipes, like maybe one or two flavors instead of like six or seven, which I did for the previous one. Sloan, how you doing? 
Craig Marshall, Dovepo contacted me today. They're sending the dual topside out for review at the end of this week. <clears throat> so Dovepo are sending one out. They contacted me just after I left the studio. I got the email up here. I'd say a video has been saved to the hard drive. Yeah, Irish, that video has definitely been saved. Cheers, Goldstein. How you doing, Bradley? How you doing, Rick? Happy New Year, Simon. Mo bro! Mo bro! Colette, how you doing? Happy New Year, Andy Summerfield. How you doing, Stuart? How you doing? Every wow, chat is fucking flying. I've got it in slow mode as well. Happy New Year, Ian. Steve Nichols, how you doing? Derek Medley, how you doing? Quick one, Vic. The new 25mm Peacemaker RT, Peacemaker RT from Squid Industries. No, I'm not, because Squid Industries never send me anything for review. They never send me anything for review. They, they usually concentrate on the US reviewers. Vic, do you have any Dicodes? No, I don't. The Dicodes, Danny. Nope. That's another company that usually sends only to US reviewers. Dom Long, how you doing, Dom? Just when Vupu were slowly getting reviewers thinking, is <laughs> exactly Colin. It's like, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I've got this picture in my fucking head. So you, you just just imagine the scene. Imagine the scene. Imagine it. The Vupu lead executive is, is saying, "Oh well, it looks like all the electronic cigarette reviewers are now are now thinking of accepting Vupu again. The Tony B thing has been forgotten about. What else can we do to fuck things up?" <laughs> That's what they must have been thinking. Ronnie Cash Vapes. How you doing, Ronnie? Happy New Year, dude. Vic, since reducing the nicotine in your mixes, not really, Rick. I still vape 16 milligram in the morning, but if I'm doing lung hits, it's down to three. Have you found the flavour improve a bit? Yeah, I have. Well, you need to remember, the more nicotine that you add, the more you're diluting down the e-liquid, right? You're not diluting it down by much, but you're still diluting the e-liquid down. The less nicotine you use, the, the less base PG or VG mixed in with that nicotine is getting into the mix, so the more flavouring can come out. Are you still planning on your mouth to lung tank? Yes, I am. I'm going to I'm gonna see how the sales of the Kelpie get on first. How are you doing, Rui? Rui? From Portugal? Happy New Year, Martin. Happy New Year, Tempestus. Happy New Year, Dire Thing. Happy New Year, Simon. Gonna get the dual topside in. They're sending it. They're sending it out end of this week, Craig. <sighs> Cloudy, Cloud Island e-liquids. How you doing? Happy New Year. How you doing, Hot Knife? <sighs> Let's see if I can catch up with chat now. How you doing, Matt? Happy New Year from the Republic of Ireland. Happy New Year, David. There we go, I'm caught up with chat. <sighs> Cheers, George. Jules, how you doing, Jules? Vic, do you like my sequin shirt? Yeah, it was rather loud, Mobro. It was, it was rather loud, that sequin shirt. Happy New Year from Malta. Cheers, Edwin. Happy New Year. Hope you had a great holiday, Peter, and a happy New Year to you, mate. Wishing you every... Ah, cheers, Mr. Milo Blue. It wasn't really a holiday, because I was still fucking busy in the house. It was a holiday from the studio, more than anything. Happy New Year, Edward. My Thor's Hammer RD got lost. Oh, fuck. You lost the Cthulhu Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Raymond, I probably won't get the Yee Hee version of the top side. It'll probably be the standard one they're going to be sending. Cheers, lead pipe. Happy New Year. I didn't have a hangover, Bob. I didn't get too drunk. I got a little bit tipsy, but I didn't get steaming. <sighs> Happy New Year, Mike. Happy New Year, Kenneth. Had the Copper Times Vape Dreamer for Christmas off the wife. Twist it. Twinned it with a new Goon 1.5. You'll find that that Copper Dreamer patinas very quick. So you're going to be spending a lot of time polishing it. Yep. The Kelpie, it's my new RTA Welsh blood. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Hopefully it should be released by the end of this month. Hopefully, maybe. Vic, what are you looking forward to this year? Expo in May, 
and Expo in October. That's what I'm looking forward to this year. That about covers it. <laughs> Stevie Dilly Gaff. How you doing, Stevie? <sighs> Grizzly Vapor, you must have been talking to some people that I bumped into in certain Facebook groups this afternoon. <laughs> My FB came just before Christmas, got it on top of my Aegis Legend in Rainbow. Hmm. I won't be meeting the English ones, Razor, uh, because that's... From what I've heard, there's a possibility of that English one being basically the same weekend as the May Expo. So I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm not going to that one. Um... The one, because I'm going to be heading to Holyrood in about two, two and a half-ish months. Uh, it's nothing It's nothing formal. It's just an informal sit-down cup of tea. Hopefully a couple of slices of cake and just a quick chat. But I am guessing they're going to raise that video up. I'm guessing they are. Steven, nice one. Six months off the stinkies. Crown four mesh sucks compared to three max. I wouldn't say that, Joshua. Crown four mesh got the best tank of 20... I was going to say 2014 there. 2018. Nothing wrong with the Free Max Mesh Pro. It's still a good tank. Happy New Year. Soon to be Easter. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I've been giving it a good buffing every night and I've polished the mod too. Oh, oh dear, Stokey. <laughs> Vic. So what does 2019 look like for vaping innovation? I don't know, Chris. I don't know. For innovation for 2019. I still think the market's going to take a downturn at the end of 2019, though there's far too many product out there. You've sobered up, Vic. I, was, I wasn't even drunk, to be honest, Ian. A little bit tipsy during New Year, but that was it. Denrock, Happy New Year. Any advice for the Kylan V2? I've wicked it twice. The first time was dry hit and now it's spitting like crazy. If it's spitting, you need a little bit more cotton. Just a little bit more cotton through the coil. That'll stop the spitting. Love my Crown 4 kit. Yeah. Crown 4 kit. There we go. Still waiting for you to accept my request to join the FB group. Yeah, I'll probably do that later on tonight. I've still I've still to do the draw for the Facebook group as well, coming to think of it. Are we going to see an RT RDA or RT it's an RTA mic, probably the, probably by the end of January. That's what it's looking like. Well, I've got two Voopoo items in for review that were due to be done this week. Not happening now. <laughs> Vic, have you had the Hell Beast yet? Nope. I think they're sending that, though, because I got an email from Hellvape telling me they're sending me something out. It might be the Hellbeast, I don't know. Haven't haven't yet beaten the Falcon M2 for flavour yet. The, I've never tried the Falcon M2. Have the Free Max and Crown 4. What about pulp and cotton wicking? Yeah, there's some stock coils out there that are using wood pulp, apparently. Vic, Vic got the Mead 2019, great flavour, but a little harsh. Any ideas? A little harsh? You mean it feels as if there's too much nicotine? Little bit more, no, little bit less cotton through the coil. That harshness is probably the centre of the coil on the verge of dry burning. You probably put too much cotton through the coil. Vic, in your opinion, what's the best thing coil RD for an absolute noob? This one. The Cthulhu Jolnir, because this thing is fucking simple to coil on. Oh wow, that cotton's white. This thing is super simple to call. Focus in. Focus in. Focus. Fucking focus in. Would you fucking focus? Oh, for fuck's sake, hold on. <laughs> I'm that used to the Canon camera just instantly focusing in. I do a live show and these Logitech cameras fucking suck. Uh, here we go. Single coil RD, the Cthulhu Majol Jolnir, Majolnir, the Thor's Hammer RD. That is a super simple RD to coil on. And the flavour. Oh, I need to clean those coils. Ew. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to clean that coil. The flavour on it is absolutely fucking astonishing as well. Cracking little RDA, that one. Auto focus back on. There we go. Sorry. 
Saint. Right there, Saint. Beer Weasel, how you doing? <clears throat> Hello from Denmark, how you doing, Nanok? I hope I got your name right. Good evening, UK Andy. Stop rubbing it in, Vic, with the Thor's hammer. Sorry, Bradley. <laughs> Got the new Thor's Hammer RDA, but I always get a dry hit when even the wicks are wet. I've tried more than less cotton. You, you, you get a dry hit even when the wicks are wet? That sounds like too much cotton through the coil. You're choking the centre out. That'll do it. Vic, have you had a play with the techie macro button? Oh, you mean this? The techie macro button? This fella, which is... Fuck. Hold on. Fuck. What am I doing? Fuck. What am I doing? Here we go. This fella. Which is the stream deck. Yeah, I've been met... I've, I've got it set up for the UK vape show, so in fact... Hold on. If I hit... If I hit that button, it heads over to the splash screen. If I hit that button, it heads over to the... It heads over to the... Um, to the um, fucking cast screen. That... What does that button do? Uh, that button starts recording. Uh, that button there, you can't hear me because I just muted the mic by mistake. That button mutes the mic. That button mutes the desktop to mute everyone else. That button heads over to the second screen, which is there, and I'm going to be setting that up for Twitch. Uh, that button, that, 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 fuck, you can't even see what I'm doing here. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. So, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Uh, that button records, that button mutes, that button mutes the desktop audio, that button no, muted, there we go, that button mutes my mic, that button goes onto the second screen, that button, what does that button do? Uh, that button opens up Streamlabs, but yeah, those two buttons here, so that's, uh, that's the intro, no, yeah, that's the intro, that's the main screen, back to the intro. Look at that, Whee! And all I'm doing is tapping buttons. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still getting used to this thing. This is a very handy bit of kit. The Streamlabs. Uh, the Streamlabs? No, the Stream Deck from Elgato. Very handy bit of kit. Especially for Twitch. Especially for Twitch. Exactly slowing. What does that button do? Boop. Boom. Saint right there. Mr. 2.5 ohm, Jesus, that's a high ohm coil. Mr. Vic, brilliant video earlier regarding Ben Phillips and the Voopoo, yeah. It got me in some shit with some naysayers, but fuck them, their opinion sucks anyway. Happy New Year, Vic, did you have a good one? Yes, I did, Andy, I had a fantastic one. Happy New Year from Arkansas. How you doing, Nomad? What button orders tea, tea and steak being a fucking much there was? Anyone try the OBS engine mouth to lung RT? It's all right, Daniel. It's not the best mouth to lung tank out there, though. Thanks for the videos and advice. I'm beefing eight months. I still need your T10 happy about the stock coil. Yeah, Nautilus 2. I haven't tried the Nautilus 2S, but the Nautilus 2S is basically a Nautilus 2 with a different housing. That's all it is. It takes the same coils. They're good tanks, the Nautilus 2s. Does it have a button that makes all seagulls drop to the ground in a five mile radius? <laughs> Happy New Year, Brian. Happy New Year, Leo. Happy New Year, Neil. Happy New Year, Gary. How you doing, Vlad? Incoming mic meltdown button. <laughs> Do you have an emergency button for pixelating March window? <laughs> Chunk, how you doing? Is that a Voopoo mod you're using? No, it's fucking Voopoo mod. No, this is a vicious ant. It's not a Voopoo mod. <sighs> McGann, how you doing? Happy New Year. Greetings from Sweden. The bastard Ben pranked something or something. Is vid yeah, it's been removed. Um, it's either, either Ben took that video down himself... Or YouTube have took it down to inspect it because of all the reports that went on. Either way, it's down. 
Actually, that's very true, Craig. You don't need that button for the seagulls. Hunterston Nuclear would do that if it went up. Very true. Happy New Year, Vape in Scotland. How you doing, Cyclic Scooby Flyer? Happy New Year. You going to be trying the vegan? No. No, anything with vegan? No. 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 <laughs> Vic, will the UK Vape Show be Season 3? Yes, it will. Uh, tomorrow is the start of a brand new season, so it's going to be Season 3, Episode 1. Season 3, Episode 1, uh, number 230-something or other like that. Vic, I've got the Fire Loop mesh for Christmas. First ever mesh tank I have used. What would you recommend for a rebuildable mesh tank? Rebuildable mesh tank? None. Because... Some companies have tried making a rebuildable mesh tank and they were all fucking awful. Yeah, Chunk, there's no there's no point reporting things in Daily Motion. They just ignore reports over there. That's why fucking Daily Motion's got a shit ton of copyrighted content on it. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking YouTube done it as well, Jonathan. That's what I'm thinking. Scuba! Scuba! Happy New Year, Scuba. Get them Christmas decks down, Vic. It's not that it's not it's not the twelfth night yet, Ian. It's not the twelfth night. I went out with a vegan. She made great chips. Oh. What dripper are you using in your aunt? This is the Cthulhu Jolnia. Thor's hammer. There we go. Happy New Year, Phil. Happy New Year, Taurus. I thought the UK VS was on tonight. No, it's not tonight, Cyclic. It's on tomorrow. It's Wednesday tonight. Vandy Vape Mesh RT was dog crap. Yes, it was, Richie. Greetings from Turkey, Victor. Happy New Year. How are you doing, Savas? Happy New Year, Philip. <laughs> Stuart. <laughs> Happy New Year, Jason. I had confirmation from my report from YouTube that they had removed it. Ben restricted it, but YouTube removed it, so it was actually removed. Reverend Vapes. How you doing, Reverend Vapes? Wow, we had just, <laughs> just snaps. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Ginger Snaps and Voopoo Drama all in the same week. 2019 starting off hard. You got that right. Happy New Year, Aunt. Happy New Year, Caroline. On the road heading to Florida for a few days. Ah. Oh. Happy New Year, Jono. Any news in your RTA? Uh, the tank's not going to be... Well, both tanks. There's actually two tanks that I'm working on. Uh, two, the both tanks are probably not going to be out until the end of this month. That's what it's looking like. End of this month. What about a mesh RDA? Profile. That's about the only decent mesh RDA out there. The Profile RDA by uh, Van... Is that Van de Vape? Or was that Watofo? No, it was Watofo that made the Profile. Yeah. Got to shoot. Trains need an... Oh! Phil works in a train station. Hey Vic, would the Galaxy Mouth to Lung RTA and the Mike Vapes intake be good beginner RTA? I, I would go with that. Yeah. Because they're both pretty damn easy to coil on. Happy New Year, Doug. <clears throat> Craig Marshall, when are you collaborating with Vupu for a mod? That's going to be a fucking cold day in hell before that happens, Craig. Saw saw you pick of the Smoant Pumper mod. Any initial thoughts on that one? It's, it's a squonker that's got a pump mechanism in it. It's basically what it is. They've, they've tried to emulate the Asmodus pumper, but with a much more smaller pump mechanism. Haven't really had mu haven't really had much of a chance to test the thing yet, though. <sighs> Happy New Year, Vic. How's the Voopoo thing going? Well, Adam, Ben's video's down. Happy New Year from Weyburn. How the fuck do you say that? Saskatchewan. There we go, Saskatchewan, Canada. How you doing, Splatty? 
Hi, George. Do you think there'll be a mesh RBA this year? Like, like a mesh rebuildable tank? Doubt it. Mesh tanks never really work all that good. Any, any rumours on hardware releases for May Expo? I haven't heard anything, Phil. I haven't heard a damn thing. I did donkey, yeah, I watched Chris's video because his video came up around about the same time mine's came up, so I watched his as well. Have you got the dual top side yet? Ian, it's being sent out by Dovepo at the end of this week, so I should be getting it second, end of the second week of January. I'll probably fast track that one, actually, because that's a fucking review that everyone wants to see. Next level up. Happy New Year. 170 to that 50k, yeah I know Danny, I'm, I'm going to be hitting that, I'm going to be hitting that 50k probably next week, in fact not even next week, I'm probably guessing by the, it might even be a chance, I might even hit that 50k by this weekend, and here's the thing, I haven't even fucking planned the 50k giveaway yet, because I've been that busy doing the 12 days of Christmas giveaway for the Facebook group and Patreon, oh boy, <sighs> Adam, if they do anything, it'll just be the video. They won't get rid of his channel. Do you think they might see a profile RTA this year? Here's the thing, Lethal. Mesh drippers work. Mesh tanks have notoriously been bad. And I don't know how I don't know how you're gonna get around the problem with getting the deck of a dripper. Because this is what you'll need to do. You'll need to basically take the deck of you'll need to take the deck of the profile and turn that into the deck of a tank. But mesh mesh rebuildable tanks have never worked all that good. Happy New Year, Tony. Off to take the bairn to off to take the bairn to bed, night Mara. Catch you later on, Gary. What's the capacity of the Kelpie? Four point five mil, from what I remember. What's your opinion on them putting a Yeehee chip in the new top side? I think it's a fucking brilliant idea putting the, putting a Yeehee chip in the top side. The top side premium. Apparently that's what it's being called. Any chance we might get an updated Zestia RTA? Oh, there's bound to be a Zestia V2 this year sometime. Probably during summer, I'm guessing. Happy New Year, happy days. Village Vapor, 50k giveaway equals VA Squonker, perhaps. No. No, this is mine. Nah, the, nah, they they won't be in any, they won't be in any problems with their videos if they only showed a clip of his video. Happy New Year, o Osuima. I probably butchered your name. A fucking big tank for mesh to work, back. Yeah, it needs to be. I mean, the chamber needs to be massive to hold the loop of mesh that goes over. So that's why mesh tanks generally tend to be relatively big. And because because the tank's big, they lose the flavour. Do you only answer the chat the questions you want and ignore the real meaty challenging ones? No Grizzly, it's called chat moving too fast to keep up with. Kevin K, how you doing, Kevin? Talking about top airflow drippers. Would you rather the dead rabbit? Oh, that's easy. The Cthulhu. The Cthulhu. Nothing wrong with the dead rabbit SQ, but I still prefer the Cthulhu. Nothing wrong with it. Vic, this is the year I'm going to do it. What do I buy to replace the ego? Chunk, shut up. <laughs> Any info about the topside jewel? No info yet, U Usima. I'm probably butchering your name. I'd, nah, no info. I don't even have it yet. Don't even have it. What kind of building kit do you have? Mike, I've got the Coil Art V3. Not Coil Art, fuck. The Coil Master V3 kit. That's what I've got. Yes, VH, I've got my decorations up. I don't take them down until 6th night. No, not 6th, 12th night. 
as long as you keep your decorations up and take them down before the 12th night, you'll be fine. What coils do you recommend for the Bonza mech kit? If you know someone like, if you know Chris Grimes, if you can get him to make a set of low mass fused Claptons, specifically tailored for mechs, that would work great in the Bonza when you're working it as a mech. Michael Marker, how you doing Michael? Happy New Year, Peter. By the way, are you out in bail? The fuck are you talking about, junk? <laughs> Dual topside, according to Brian Herb TV's. Yeah, it's January. It's, it's second or third week of January. It's going on release. Hello Vic, thanks for the great videos. Cheers, Ben! Vic, I've got the iJoy Zenith. Wow, the Zenith 3, that is actually a good mod. The Zenith 3 is a really powerful mod, that one. Happy New Year, Mr. Magoo. What coil ohm meter would you recommend? Any of the coil master ones, to be honest. The coil master ones are decent. They're not completely accurate, but they're close enough. Happy New Year, Munir. Happy New Year, Sir Wesley. Vic, have you tried the new Lost Vapor I and Q? Caroline, I got that in today. It's up at the studio right now. The new the, the new Lost Vapor I and Q. Uh, that came in. Well, that came in a couple of days ago, actually, from Martin Mill, just before New Year. Monster Man Vapes, Happy New Year and Happy New Year Nibiru. Happy New Year Vic, do you consider to get a oscilloscope for showing us some chips chat? No, Haristo, I, I leave that kind of thing to Phil Bissardo and DJ LSB Vapes. The, the fucking oscilloscope things confuse the fuck out of me. I was thinking about getting one but I'd, 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 never, rem I'd never remember how to fucking use it. You know, so I leave that kind of thing to, to Daniel and Phil Bissardo. They, they've got it nailed down. They've got it nailed down. Still rock. Wow, the Avocado 24. That's an old bit of tank, that. Avocado 24 tank, but there's a blue plaster on the side. As I broke it when Vic was dressed as a poo. See if you head on to if you head on to Fast Tech, Stuart, I think Fast Tech are still selling the avocado tanks, but I'm not sure because the avocado's been out for a long time now. Been out for a long fucking time, the avocado. I am sure Fast Tech would still sell the tanks for that. Grizzly Vapor Reviews. Come on, Vic. Where do you stand in cyberbullying? Grizzly Vapor Reviews. If you watched this channel from the very beginning, you would know all about that, what I went through in the early days of this channel. Happy New Year, Vic. All the best wishes and keep rocking it. Cheers, Ick! Or IK. You had the Vape Mons gearbox and What? No. Don't even recognise that name. Vapemon's Gearbox? Nah, that's one. I don't even recognise the name, H-Bomb. Oh, lol. Vic does need to get a fatality bad. I may have to send him one my darn self. Yeah, because QP Designs... Not, QP Designs very rarely send anything to European and UK reviewers, Scooby. They usually concentrate in the US market. They usually concentrate in the US market. Happy New Year, Dismafugger. FF Stoken, Happy New Year. Do you think the Ryan Q will be any good without the DNA chip, Vic? Yes, it will, Vaping Scotsman. The, the DNA chip is a good board, but at the wattages that it was running at, any chip that Lost Vape makes, as long as it hits the rated wattage it was intended to hit, will work on the 1 ohm. Because you need to remember, it's a high ohm coil as well. It'll work on the 1 ohm coil just fine. 
DNA boards are good for high, high-ish wattage vaping, but when you're down, when you're down low, low wattages for high ohm coils, any good board with decent battery management would do the job just fine as well. Do you know if there is going to be a Dual 21? No, there isn't, Kira. There will not be a Dual 21 700 version of the top side. Uh, Brian, Brian TVC, Vapor Chronicles already said that a Dual 21 700 version of the top side, the mod would be just too damn big. He wanted to keep it small, so that's why they went for 18650 only. Vic can't cope with a drill, so nope, no chance. But actually, that's very true. I'd probably fucking set a nuke off or something if I was to mess around with a fucking oscilloscope. Happy New Year, Henry French. Got pulse squonk. It's just not powerful. Why, Steve? Try a different ohm coil. Maybe the coil. Maybe the ohms of your coil's too low, which means the eighty watts is not quite enough for the coil to give you a decent vape. Bump the bump the ohms of the coil up a little bit. Aim for something like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohms. So the 80 watts gives it more punch because of the higher resistance. That's what I would try. Hellbilly Vapes. If you missed Vupu's ad on Instagram today, they compared another company's mod to... To be honest, Hellbilly, Vupu's been doing that for a while now. They have been doing that for a while, comparing other mods to their own. They're not winning any friends, put it that way. Grizzly Vapor, let's hear this. Understand that, that, what? Understand that, that is why, what? Un oh, I missed the first bit. That is why I know you are a bully. And the efforts you went to to cause a lot of issues for no apparent reason. Well, save for the other reviewer being quality and a threat to you. I'm guessing you're talking about, I'm guessing you're talking about Vinny, who bought his subscribers. Yeah, probably. What on earth is an oscilloscope? Tim, it's a screen with a line that bounces up and down with buttons on it. That's about all I know. <laughs> Any recommendations for a good LiPo starter mod? Fuck. LiPo starter mod? Oh! The iJoy Katana Kit. Get the iJoy Katana Kit Universal. Because in the Universal Kit, you get a mouth-to-lung tank, a rebuildable dripper, uh, you get a stock coil sub -ohm mesh tank, and you get a pod tank with an adapter that you can pop pods into, like the dual pod, and in the same box, you get an internal LiPo mod as well, all for under $100. Perfect for a beginner. Because that way the mod can grow with them as they climb up to sub -ohming. There we go. Three F still have spare glass for the avocado twenty four. There you go, the person that broke the avocado twenty four glass. Three F have got spare glass in. I knew one of them would have it. See, that's the thing, Jules. If That's the thing, Jules. What, what, what's the old saying? <clears throat> Nobody sees it when you're being provoked, but everyone sees it when you retaliate. It's the old adage. Evening, Barry! Alison Warren, an oscilloscope is a very expensive pong game. Yeah, basically, the line goes up and down. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Peter, he either pulled it down or YouTube pulled it down for him. Either way, the video's gone. Didn't buy and even prove this to you. No, he didn't, Grizzly. He is the only... Oh, I was reading that. Hold on. <laughs> I don't even need to read it. Here's the thing, Grizzly. YouTube done a purge. YouTube done a purge of everyone's channel. I lost a hundred. Chris Empire Vape Co lost about sixty. Mark TVP lost about forty. Dean lost zero. Dean, the the devil vapor. 
And all the other top reviewers, um, Todd, he lost about 90. Uh, Vaping Biker lost about 80. His channel alone lost more subscribers than the rest of the UK reviewers combined. And I remember that when myself and Chris was calling him out for his subscriber base, he um, he emphatically stated, and you can go and watch the video, he emphatically stated, in fact, it wasn't a video, it was actually posted on his YouTube page, his, not YouTube page, Facebook page, he emphatically stated that every single one of his subscribers was legitimate. He stated that on Facebook. And then all of a sudden, when 2,700 odd subscribers go bye-bye after YouTube deletes them, he suddenly changes his story. He did not prove anything. See, I've lost track of fucking chat now. Where am I? Happy New Year, Andre. That's it, Vaping Scotsman. People simply don't want to hear the fucking truth. He bought subscribers. Either he bought them or somebody fucking else did. Simple. Vupu have approached... <laughs> I'm going to remember that line, old bear. Vupu have approached Blue Peter to review the new Drag V3. That's a fucking classic. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Very true, Matt. Happy New Year, Terry. <clears throat> My husband is starting an e-liquid business in Africa. Any advice? Make sure the nicotine is from a good, reliable company because it's the, it's the nicotine that can make or break an e-liquid. If the nicotine is even slightly off, it turns into a peppery, it, it literally turns into a kind of peppery chemical taste that even if you put just a drop of nicotine in the mix for something like a three milligram overall mix, you will still taste it. So if, if there's one bit of advice for any new startup e-liquid company, make sure the nicotine is good because a bad batch of nicotine can, can fucking ruin a whole batch of e-liquid. That's the one thing you've got to look out for. Yeah, they couldn't, Andy. <laughs> Happy New Year, Tony. Gr oh, I'm going to fuck this name up. Gr Grant? Grant L. Huber? Or is it Grant L. Huber? Grant! I'll call you Grant. Happy New Year, Grant. Yasmin, don't vape your own supply. That's another one. Yeah, try not to vape your own supply of e-liquids, otherwise you'll end up losing all your fucking profits. And the whole point of setting up an e-liquid company is not to vape your own profits away. Chunkmeister, don't give them any ideas. Paul Howe, Happy New Year, Paul, and how you doing, Hell's Wench? Vic, where do you get your nick from? Mr. 2.5 Ohm, I get my nick from Nicotine UK. Just search for it in Google, Nicotine UK. The European Nicotine, that's what you want to buy because it's cheaper for some reason, I don't know fucking why. And don't kill flavour with dumping shit. Yeah, there's that as well. Don't use too much sweetener. In fact, to be honest, I wouldn't use any sweetener at all in your liquids. That's just me personally, though. Happy New Year, Carol. <laughs> I 
Mike Ebert, my friend sent me a Smoant Campbell. That's that fucking... That's that mod with the fucking huge tank that you drop water into, so it acts a bit like an e-hooker. Fucking idiotic bit of kit, that from Smoant. Vic, what are you chain vaping on? Justinus, I've got my watermelon vape currently in here. I'm not bullying. I'm calling out a bully. Well, here's the thing, Grizzly. Myself and Chris spent days providing the proof that his subscribers were bought. If you're too fucking thick to realise that, then there's no fucking arguing with you. Where to get DIY liquid starter kits? Sean, are you in the UK? If you're in the UK, try bestsigliquid.co.uk. They actually sell, at least the last time I fucking checked they did, I don't know if they still do it, but they actually sell kits. It's like PG, VG flavourings and a little nick, or a little set of nick shots in a bag that you can just mix all together. I don't know if they still do it though. Because I haven't checked on their website for a couple of months. What do you do about Vapor's Tongue? How long does it take you to get past it and what do you do? Six Grigsby, when I get Vapor's Tongue, I head to Browning's The Baker's in the High Street in Urban and I order myself two hot onion pies. And guaranteed that's going to cut through Vapor's Tongue immediately. Normally Vapor's Tongue happens if you're vaping on the same liquid for too long, like the same flavour for too long. If you chop and change your e-liquid flavours through the day, you won't get Vapor's Tongue that much. You'll still get it now and again when you get a cold and stuff, but you won't get it that much. But normally if I do get Vapor's Tongue, yeah. Um, shorts, well it used to be called Shorts the Bakers, they're called Brownings the Bakers now, Hot Onion Shorts Pie. Kelly Pie to the people in Kilmarnock, just with a shitload of onions in it. Vic, you gonna be doing any more e-liquid DIY vids this year? Yes, I am, Keith. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm, uh, there's a plan for two more, uh, because the the original one was the the complex mix. But what I'm planning to do is a couple of simple mixes, like maybe a strawberry and cream, something like that, and go a lot slower because I kind of rushed the last one that I did. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So there's gonna be a couple of more DIY mixing videos coming up. Um, Probably spring of this year. Probably spring. Couple of simple mixes to get people on their way. Do you do your e-liquids with flavours or concentrates? Uh, Miko vapes, it's, it's little concentrate bottles. Flavour concentrates. It's like separate flavours that I mix all together. Cheers, Derek! Happy New Year! Nah, don't boot Grizzly. He's happy just sitting there ranting away to himself. BCL... St oh, they still do the kits, Ian. There we go. Best Sig Liquid are still doing the mixing kits. So all you need to do is go into Best Sig Liquid, choose the kit that you want with the flavour that you want, and Andy will send you out the full kit. PG, VG, flavourings, and I think you need to get the nicotine separate. And then just chuck it all together, give it a shake, and let it sit there for 48 hours, and that's you done. What wattage do you vape the Crown 4 mesh coils at? Derek, it depends on the flavour. If it's the peach custard, 90 watts. If it's the watermelon vape, 65, 70-ish, roughly speaking. It all depends on the flavour. Cheers, Malcolm. Happy New Year. Vic, I've ordered the Serpent Elevate from UK eSig two weeks ago. Should I still... Wow, that's actually quite a long time. for UK eSig store, I'm guessing. They're usually pretty quick with their. They're usually pretty quick with their shipping. They might be a bit slow because it was the holiday period. Derek, uh, Darren I was going to call you Derek there. They might be a bit slow because it was the holiday period. Darren, I would give them. I would give them until the end of this week, 
If it's not arrived by Friday, send them an email because they could be behind in the orders. Pauline, it happens all the time. Graham! How you doing, Graham? Vic, how, how well, what? How well long is best, to, how long is best to steep 60 mil short fill for? LCL, if it's a fruit or a tobacco vape, let it sit for 24 hours. If it's a cream or a custard, or there's cream or custard in the mix, one week minimum to let the cream and custard come out. Don't vape a cream or custard straight away because you won't taste the cream or custard. You've got to let it, you've got to let it sit there for a while. Yes, Michael. The Jolnir's a good dripper to get for your first one. It's very simple to fucking coil on as well. Joanne, Happy New Year. Greetings, Panzer. You know what, Grizzly? You would think it would be a little bit of a sign that you're the only one calling me out as a bully. If I was a bully, Grizzly, I would have got everyone to unsubscribe from Vinny. The fact is, I didn't. I just called him out for buying subscribers. And I'm going to call out for what he did. He bought subscribers. If you want to believe something different, then I suggest you fuck off out of my channel. You useless cunt. Bye. That's him banned. See, normally if you leave trolls to go on, they usually hang themselves in the end. That's exactly what he did. Good day, mate. Best strawberry concentrate. Strawberry ripe from the Flavor Apprentice. That's a good one. You need to use a bit more because it's a little bit on the weak side, though. Can you recommend a good mod for the TFV-12? TFV-12 P-Tank? Oh, you mean the Prince? Any mod that can handle up to 150 watts. Any mod, literally. <clears throat> Why is it when I make a custard mix it tastes chemically? Drew, you're letting it steep for at least a week. Charles, I haven't actually tried tobacco concentrates. I usually buy my tobacco liquid straight from Yalek because I, I don't want to mix them. Yeah, I did, but well, that was was that a steak? Was that a steak bait diet, or wasn't that the sausage roll diet though? Why did you start vaping? I'm curious. Back in 2014, Dwayne, I was getting my I was getting my uh, gallbladder taken out, and the anaesthetist said my lungs had started to deform because they took an X-ray of the chest and the stomach to find out where the pain was coming from. The anaesthetist said my uh, my lungs were deforming, and but I was only what 30, 37 years old at that point in time. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me, so I decided to give up smoking. How you doing, SDJ? And night, Rick Eth. Catch you later on. Yeah, Irish. You normally you normally find that with trolls. That's why I like to leave them in the room for a little bit longer. They kind of tend to hang themselves with their own fucking innate stupidity. I think the TFV 12P tank that he was talking about, 2.5, is the TFV 12 Prince. I think that's the one he was talking about. Finally tried Alpine, Alpine Strawberry. Alpine? I don't think I'll try that one. How many roll-ups were you on a day before quit? Fuck. 60 or 70. 
roughly 60 or 70 roll-ups a day I was on. I was basically chain-smoking. That's what I was doing. I was chain-smoking. Evening TBD. Happy New Year. Yeah, Daniel Aries JJ is no longer making coils because uh, coil the coil company is running is no longer trading. Your stomach will deform if you eat more steak bakes. Too late, Steve. It's already started doing that. <laughs> I want to thank you for not being a sellout. I am not based within the UK, so regulations don't affect me, but seeing you being that passionate for the reason. Cheers, are, 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 I'm going to butcher this name now. Uh, uh, Amadeo? I think that's Amadeo. Cheers, Amadeo. That's the one thing you'll see honest reviewers never do. They'll never sell out. They'll never sell out. Sure, they, they may charge money for Q jumps so the review gets done quicker, but they'll never actually charge for the review itself. Higgy will have Aries coils for a bit longer. Yeah, but they're eventually going to run out of stock though, Dyer. They'll eventually run out of stock because he's, no, he's no longer making them. Pat Falvey. Happy New Year, Pat. Any good coil builders in the UK? Chris Grimes. That's who I go to for coils. Chris Grimes. And now Vic chain vapes and his lungs are full of water and he's turning into Aquaman. <laughs> yes, Addy Cats, I'm live right now. Solom! Solom! How you doing, Mark? Happy New Year, Tom. I better check Facebook. Oh. There we go. Chris Pickering, I can't take it anymore. Your butchery of the name has gone on too long. It's pronounced Mjolnir. See, some people say Mjolnir and other people say Jolnir. So what one's what? <laughs> That's why I just call it the Thor's Hammer. It's far fucking easier. <laughs> Chris Grimes is based in the UK, Stephen. Um, search for Chris Grimes Coils on Facebook or on Twitter and he'll pop up. <sighs> Happy New Year, Derek. <sighs> Question, will Vic be dressing as Yoda for May 4th? Right, right there, balls. Right. In fact, hold on. Aren't, aren't we going to be at Expo for May 4th? Is it the first weekend? Is it the first weekend for uh, for Expo in May? April, May. Is it the first or last weekend they're doing it? I can't fucking remember now. Because if it's the first weekend, May 4th is going to be at Expo. Yes, it is the f it's, it's definitely the first weekend. Well, May 4th, I'm going to be at Expo. So there we go. No dressing up as Yoda or an Ewok or something short. Not going to happen. Why are your fingernails so long? Well, here's the thing. Oh, I'm going to fuck up this name. A proctor. Some people's nails, if you, cut, if you cut their nails too short, they start becoming ingrown. The ingrown nail. Or the cuticles start peeling off from the end and stripping out. The reason I keep my nails a little bit longer than most blokes is because if I cut them right down into the cuticle, I end up getting a stripped cuticle, and it's fucking painful. It's when the inside of your nail, this part here, see that part there? It's when this part strips out from under the skin, and you've got to pull the whole thing off. That's why I keep my nails a little bit longer. Griff, Graf, cheers for the six ninety nine Vic. Buy a bottle of Wonuts Strawberry Glazed. I haven't even heard of that. 
Wonuts straw, and I'm gonna write that down. I'm always, I'm always tempted to try out new flavors. Where's my pen? Where the fuck's my pen? Where's my pen? Wonuts strawberry glazed. I got a bit of paper here. Here we go. Strawberry glazed. I'll give that a try. <sighs> that bloke from Game of Thrones. That bloke from Game of Thrones would suit you, Vic. You mean the little short fella, Dex? Tyrion. Is it Tyrion Lannister? Th thanks, Dex. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> you could crack out the Christmas... No, no. I'm not cracking out the Christmas pudding one again. No Yoda Expo, but what about Penful? Balls, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> vaping noob Andy G happy new year vaping noob can you paint your nails for no I'm not going to paint my nails for a review <laughs> Derek Lucas do you remember me Vic we had a conversation about Dunfermline and you pointed out where the yee he was where yee he was I remember you Derek yeah way way back at last year's May Expo because I was kind of, I was kind of wandering about a bit lost at that point in time as well. Because I was looking for another, I was looking for another booth at me. Happy New Year, a reef. How you doing? Happy New Year, Terry. I'm not making any short jokes. As Vic's taller than me, but he was wearing a hat. Th thanks, thanks, Chunk. Thanks, thanks, Chunk. Is there a tobacco e-liquid made from tobacco? You mean a naturally extracted tobacco, Adam? Yes, there is. Just search for it in Google. There is naturally extracted tobaccos where they get the whole tobacco leaf and basically dunk it in PG and they leave it in the PG bath for a good three or four weeks to draw out the flavour. Then they remove the tobacco leaf, dump it, strain the PG out, and what's left in the propylene glycol is essentially the flavour of the tobacco leaf. You'll normally find, though, that naturally extracted tobacco e-liquids are fucking expensive. Seriously expensive, because it's a very long process to get it done. How much is taken from donations on here? Uh, you mean on, on YouTube, Pat? I think it's 20%. It's either 20 or 30% that YouTube takes out of donations from this. I can't quite remember. That's 30%. There we go. Scuba God, it's 30%. What software are you using to go live? Um, TBD. I'll show you. It is. It is. Oh, oh, it is that software. I am using Streamlabs OBS version 0 0.11.8 because fuck XSplit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking XSplit. Sitting there paying to be a fucking beta tester for a piece of shit, crappy, crashy software. Just to let you all know, Vic is in fact taller than me. That's very true, Mark. I'm actually taller than Solo. Not much, but I'm taller than Solo. Okie doke, Graham. Catch you later on. Have a good one, mate. Is Black Note worth it? It is, Daniel, but it's the price. The Black Note tobacco range is naturally extracted, but they are fucking expensive. They are seriously expensive. Whenever I buy some Black Note in, I use it like a treat vape. I don't vape it all day, which is what I do with the Yalik Turkish. I use, I use the Black Note stuff as a treat vape after dinner for maybe an hour or so on a good mouth-to-lung setup and then put it away, that kind of thing. Adam Ross, I think Bilbo Baggins is taller than... Thanks, Adam. Scuba, hey now, my X-Split runs fine. It didn't for me, Scuba. All it did was fucking crash or lock up the cameras. It was really good at locking up the cameras. Had to take X-Split down and bring it back up again to get the fucking cameras to work. <sighs> Mr. 2.5 Ohm. Vic was so low on his knees at the time. No, he wasn't on his knees at the time. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
That's actually very true, John. Try extracting your own. There's no silly duty on whole tobacco leaf. You can technically make your own naturally extracted tobacco e-liquids. If you know a supplier or a tobacconist that sells good, untreated tobacco leaf, you can buy the leaf, get a big, like, acrylic or perspex tank thing, like a very mini aquarium, Fill it up with the, fill it up with propylene glycol, like maybe a couple of inches or so of propylene glycol. Get your tobacco leaf, submerge it in the propylene glycol, put a lid on the whole thing, and leave it for three weeks. That's the quick way of doing natural extracted. There's a much more longer refined process for the likes of black note, but that's the quick and cheap way of doing natural extracted tobacco. And then once you've done that, remove the tobacco leaf, chuck it in the bin, get muslin. The very, very thin, the, the very, very fine straining material and strain that PG a good five or six times to get all the organics out and you've essentially got a naturally extracted tobacco flavouring in your PG base. But I'll tell you now, it will not taste as good as the likes of the naturally extracted process from the Black Note range because Black Note go through a two-month process of double filtering. That's why it tastes so damn good and that's why it's so fucking expensive as well. Christina, if it was a good Cuban cigar, I, 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 I don't want to say this, but if it was a good Cuban cigar, I'd be more tempted to smoke it rather than steep it. Being honest here, folks, it's the one thing I still miss. I still miss a good cigar. Still miss a good cigar. Oh yeah, Matt Cully is surprisingly tall. I think he's about six foot... I think Matt Cully's about six foot five? Six foot six? Something like that. I know he's over, he's over six foot. That much is tall. That much is certain. Justinus, what setup are you vaping on? The Kylan V2... With the Q Mini from Yee. <sighs> Cheers, Andy G. There's going to be more DIY e liquid videos sometime in spring. Sometime in spring. Hashtag Gwen is taller. Fuck off, balls. <laughs> <laughs> Monte Cristo from the Juice Cabin, Vic. Mm, yeah, true, true. Reverend Vapes, I'm six foot two and he made me look like a munchkin. Yeah, you don't realise how tall Matt Cully is until you see him in person. He's fucking tall. He is seriously tall. Pat Falvey, have a good one. You doing any centre-left videos anytime soon, Vic? I will be vaping Scotsman, but I need to get the studio cleaned out first. Because currently it looks like a bomb's hit it. So, uh, yeah, I need to get the studio cleaned out first. Before I even, before I even think about getting more centre-left videos. I'm going to be... I'm definitely going to be spending a bit more time in the centre-left channel doing some political stuff. Evening, Victor. Hope you had a nice festive time. I did, Simone. I had a very nice holiday time. Very nice. Quiet, but nice. What do you think of Doctor Who? Probably best episode. Adam, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched the ones with the Daleks yet, because uh, I was too fucking busy last night. No, not last night. Oh, I was too busy in the first to watch it. I'll watch it on replay on iPlay or later on tonight. I'm out, Vic. Early day tomorrow. Have a good one. Catch you later, Dwayne. Have a good one. Who's that filly on the wall back there? That is Gwen Go Lightly. And Gwen Go Lightly is the former host of the original version of the UK Vape Show. And I'm going to take a slug of my Schweppes lemonade because my throat is going fucking dry. Night, Andy. Ah, oh, that's better. Tastes a lot better mixed with brandy, but there we go. <clears throat> have you heard TVC is going to make a topside jewel with a yee board? Yes, I have, Derek. Um, I think it's going to be called the um, the topside premium or something. I think he's calling it. 
Right with you, Vic. Two years vaping only and still miss Cherry Captain. Oh, fuck. My neighbour. My neighbour smoked that fucking... That Cherry Captain. On his pipe. I can still remember the smell of it. My neighbour smoked that stuff all the time and it smelt gorgeous. I didn't like the taste, though. I liked the smell of it. I didn't like the taste. Balls, right there. Steve Jones. Yeah, I do. I do. I I, 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 the old show was fun. The old show was fun, but then again, the new show's fun as well. Um, it would be good to have, it would be good to get Gwen back in as maybe a guest now and again, but she's far too busy these days in real life. Far too busy in real life. Because of the time difference. Damn, Vic, that bottle is bigger than you. <laughs> Thanks, Scuba. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bigger than me. What do you mean it's bigger than me? Look. <laughs> oh, fuck. IVC reviews. Happy New Year. Check out the email I sent you about the limited edition Doctor Who posters. I'll do that once I've finished the live cast decks because if I open up too much stuff... On the computer when I'm casting, it gets a little bit jittery. Do you think Gwen might come back for a show one day? Be nice to see her. I doubt it, Matt. She's too busy these days. Maybe as a guest now and again, but that's it. Dire thing? Yeah, her and the family's doing fine. Her and the family's doing fine. Ah. Uh, a pro a procked something name with a one at the end. Is it true you are banned from Reddit? Who said that? I'm not banned from Reddit. I've got an account in Reddit, but see the thing is, Proctor, I think that's how you say that name. Reddit confuses the utter fuck out of me. I'm old, right? And when I go to Reddit, all I'm seeing is like blah 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 blah. Arrow, 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 and you've got to keep clicking the fucking arrows to open the full fucking thread up, and then when you've opened the full thread up, you don't know where the conversation begins or ends in that. Reddit confuses the fuck out of me. It just confuses me too much. I've got an account there, but I don't post anything. Good night, Alison. Catch you later on. That, that Christmas show went... <laughs> When TVP was in that outfit, I must have... Yeah, you you and a few other people must have 2.5 ohms. Victor, did you get my DM earlier? On where, TBD? Yep, sat. That video's down. What wattage did you or would you use the Cleto Pro Tank at 0.5 ohms? It all depends on the liquid and your own personal taste, Derek. Start at, start at 45 watts and work up. Yep, Christina, the video's been taken down. Either YouTube, themse YouTube themselves did it or Ben did it. I had a fantastic hug, my name, It was a quiet one, but it was good. Any thoughts on the Asmodus A Mighty? That's the new... Is that... No, that's not the pod system. What one's that? Is that the one that was released at the end of, at the, the, in December of last year, Matt? Because I don't think... They haven't sent that one out yet. There is a threat. Oh, well, there you go, Proctor. There's your problem. Planet of the Vapes. <laughs> There's your fucking problem right there. I am not banned from Reddit. I can go over there and post any time I want to. I just don't post there because it fucking confuses me. Planet of the Vapes is nine times out of ten the starting point of half the rumours about me because I fell out with that forum a long fucking time ago. Long time ago. The only place I'm banned from... Where am I actually banned from that I can't access it anymore? You know what? I'm not actually banned from anywhere because... Technically, I wasn't banned from Planet of the Vapes. I asked that my account be deleted after the admins over there done bugger all when the usual vigilante crowd of what's his fucking Mr. T time... And all the rest of that anonymous crowd that are too fucking spineless to use their own real names in a forum started attacking me. So I just went, you know what, fuck it, I'm out of here. Delete my account. So technically I wasn't banned. I just left. What forum would you recommend? UK Vapors. Now I know some people are going to say, 
UK Vapors Forum, it's all it's not all elitists. It's not all elitist. If you go to the general category, you get mainstream vapors in there. If you're all about the high end elitist stuff, there's your own you've got your own forum section down in the bottom. UK Vapors. That's where I usually go. If that if it was like two years ago, I would have said the Electronic Cigarette Forum, ECF, but has anyone looked at ECF lately? It's it's dying. It is dying a very slow, painful death over there. It really is. Okay, Addy, I'll give you that one. I'm probably banned from Vupu. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Vapors TV. No scuba. No. <laughs> is that even still a thing? Vapors TV. Is anyone still using it? 2.5, the, yeah, he's not banned either, he, he, he left, um, he's still got, he's still got an account over at Planet of the Vapes, and he wasn't technically banned over at UK Vapors either, he left. Vic, does your Kelpie RT have a new style of airflow to other tanks? Robbie, it's an older style of airflow, but with a newer spin if that makes any sense. Probably not. <coughs> Vic is banned from Todd's head. Yes. And I'm probably banned from Biker's head as well. Is there a good RT for someone who has never used one? You mean a, an easy-to-use rebuildable tank atomizer? Something that's easy to coil on. And No, I was going to say the intake. Is that easy to coil on, though? But intake? I keep going back to the intake. It is technically an easy tank to coil on. P pardon me. What tank are you vaping on now? Terry, I'm vaping on the Kylan version 2. Happy New Year vaping with Spider-Man. <laughs> elevate. There you go. That's a good That's a good call out. Serpent Elevate. Good to coil on because it's easy and super easy to wick on as well. So that's you get a choice of two when it comes to tanks, um, Serpent Elevate, or the intake. <laughs> gear RT, well the thing is, the MBK, the Gear RT, have you tried to buy one yet? Everyone's fucking out of stock. <laughs> it's like, I want to buy a Gear RT, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. They can't keep up with the production. They just can't keep up. <laughs> Back in, back in black. Happy New Year. Vic, does your Kylan 2 seep from underneath? No, it doesn't steep. It used to. It used to seep out of the, out of the very bottom here, down here. I just put more cotton in the wick holes and it stopped it. Wow, the Fogger V6 on a Vamo. I've still got a Fogger V, the old, the old Yai Lung Fogger series, I've still got a Fogger 6 here somewhere. I think it's sitting over there. The Fogger version 6, that was a pretty damn good tank, that was the, it was the last of the Fogger range, that one, that was a good tank, that one. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Boudica, Boudica got it. If you go to UK Vapors, don't, for fuck's sake, don't mention clones. Because they will fucking rip you apart if you mention clones. Don't mention clones in UK Vapors. I learned that the hard way a couple of years ago. Is the Kelpie a single coil RTA, Vic? Yes, it is, Vaping Scotsman. Single coil. MBK Reviews. Vaping with Vic is or for 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 a <laughs> fucking stupid name for a company. <laughs> or for is or for a sister company of Watofo because it has all the same packaging. MBK, one of the US reviewers, I think it was Mike Vapes. It was either Mike or Vaping Fagan. It was one of those two guys had a word with or for for, and apparently. The company is based in the same building as Watofo. They are friends with the Watofo staff. 
But Orfurfur is a completely separate company from Watofo. It's two different companies. But Watofo offered to help them out with their marketing and packaging and stuff to get them sorted out and, you know, get them on their way kind of thing. Is Rip Trippers insane or just loud? He's just loud. He's loud. Here's a hint, Proctor, if you want to take a look at what Rip Trippers really is, go and take a look at the videos that he... Go and take a look at the videos that he brought out in the first... The first eight months of the Rip Trippers channel being active, that's the real Rip Trippers. And then he got all the marketing, and then all the fucking jump cuts and fucking... Sing his tits! She's a chicken! All that shit. That's when he started to change. Got to give Rip Tripper one thing though. His coil build tutorials were absolutely fucking spot on. He done some seriously good coil build tutorials. Or fur fur is pronounced off. The R is silent. So couldn't they just have called it OFF? <laughs> Why did they put the R in there? Because that just confuses people like me. It really does. <laughs> Can you do that impression again, Vic? No, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, Rip Tripper's coil builds in the early days were absolutely fucking spot on. He done some really good coil builds back then. Used to be a moderator. Oh, you used to be a moderator in UKV. Oh, you haven't been there for a couple of years now. It's not really changed much, Dex. They've got a couple of new forum sections in there, but it's not really changed much over the past couple of years. <laughs> or in Scotland, the feck off. <laughs> I might end up calling that in the review. And in today's review, we're having a look at the Fekorf Gear RTA. <laughs> yes, I've watched the Dancing Seagulls video balls. That's been popping up a lot lately, that one. Hey Vic, I've got a friend who's wanting to quit smoking and wants a good pod kit. What pod kit would you recommend? Are they in the United States or the United Kingdom, KP? No! How you doing, No? Please do it again. First time I had a little bit of pee come out. No, I'm not doing it again. They're in the UK. Okay, I would not recommend the Jewel. Because they're limited to 20 milligrams. Um, If they're in the UK... I would go for a refillable pod system. I wouldn't go for a closed pod system because closed pod systems in the long run cost more because once the pod is used, you can't refill it. You have to chuck it in the bin and buy a new pod. I would go for the Asmodus Flow. That's what I would go for. It won, it won Best Pod of 2018. It is readily available. There's lots and lots of shops selling the pod for it and... The pod is refillable. That's what you want to go for. Or, now here's the thing, we're starting to go down the road of different pod styles. If if they want something with a longer battery life, so they're not putting it in charge so much, uh, the Asmodus Breeze 2, no, not the Asmodus, fuck, the Aspire Breeze 2 or the Nautilus AIO. Those are other pod systems that have a little pod tank at the top. The Breeze 2 takes the Aspire um, BVC coil heads, which again are readily available. Every fucking vape shop sells them. And the Nautilus AIO takes the Nautilus coil heads. Again, coils are readily available fucking everywhere because everyone sells the Nautilus these days. So there you go. You've got a choice of three. You've got the Breeze 2, Nautilus, a Nautilus AIO, both of them from uh, Aspire, and then you've got the Asmodus Flow Kit for your standard classic pod system. Geek Vape Flint Kit's another good one, Sonia, but the problem with the Flint Kit is the coils are not as readily available as the likes of the ones from Aspire. Because if it's a new vapor, 
they're probably going to be walking into their local vape shop to get replace replacement pods or replacement coils for their pod system. And nine times out of ten, a lot of brick and mortar vape shops simply don't sell geek vape starter kits. They sell the bigger cloud chuck kits. <sighs> Colette! Uh, have I said hello to Colette already? I can't remember. How you doing, Colette? Hey, Vic. Happy New Year. And did you ever get your lungs rescanned? Uh, actually, no, I haven't, Michelle. But I think I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be back into the hospital for a checkup kind of thing. Um, probably at the end of summer. I'm going to request that they give my lungs another another X-ray to see what's happened to the lungs over the past four and a half years of vaping. Ah, oh, that is good stuff. Still tastes better with brandy mixed in with it though. What do you think of the Freemax Mesh Pro, Ryan's second best stock coil mesh sub ohm tank of twenty eighteen? I love the Freemax Mesh Pro. Fucking damn good flavour from it. Vic, do you know when the e sig click poll results will be announced? Ian, um. What the hell's the name of the admin for Eastside Click? Johnny? Is it Johnny? Johnny and his wife had a child. Uh, they had a they had a, a newborn baby the second week of December. Uh, the, the baby was born, I think it, I think the, the baby was born four weeks premature. So Johnny's been a little bit behind on the admin work for Eastside Click. What 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 it looks like Johnny will probably release the results of the eSig click poll, hopefully by this weekend coming. But they've just had a kid, so they're a bit busy with the child, obviously. Vic sponsored at Robbie F. Hashtag best battery never rewrap Galisi. Well, yeah. They are a sponsor. Galisi, that's why I mention them when I'm on the, when I'm on the table cam. Galisi batteries, links in the description. Well, not in the, this video because this is a live show. DJ LSB vapes, how are you doing, Daniel? Happy New Year, Daniel. Hope you had a good one, Daniel. But yeah, if you look at, in fact, I think I've changed the descriptions now, so there's there's a new section. Uh, I asked you if you had any luck with Iron Brew. Hmm? What do you mean? This stuff, Robbie. <laughs> Scotland's other national drink. <clears throat> if you're talking about an Iron Brew vape, no, no. There's a couple of companies that got close to an Iron Brew flavour, but they didn't quite nail it. Vic, what do you think is the best direct lung pod system? Well, the billet box isn't a pod system. It's more like an AIO. The SXK billet box I've got, in fact, do I have it here? No, I don't. I've actually got an AIO billet box from SXK up in the studio, and I use it. I use it usually in the mornings, tightened up, mouth to lung, cracking a little bit of kit. <sighs> Happy New Year, Hippo Coils! <sighs> Spent in video conference with the family back in Portugal. Oh, oh. Vic, can you tell Jackie to turn the telly down? I'm in bed for work and it's loud and can't hear by on the phone. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, there we go, Mark. Yeah, when, when the doctor's tell you something that scares the crap out of you that's more than enough impotence uh, impotence? no impetus, there we go that's more than enough impetus to give up smoking <sighs> soak an iron bar in some water for a couple of weeks drain the fluid, drink it that's iron feckin brew made in Scotland from girders don't actually do that folks, don't drink rusty water <sighs> There was a shop near Glasgow Central Station selling all the old cans of Iron Brew for about three quid a can last week. This was before they changed the recipe to lessen the sugar. Got to admit, Iron Brew doesn't taste quite the same. You can it still tastes like Iron Brew, but it, it doesn't taste quite the same as the old one. I can tell the difference.
Vic, where can I get an SXK billet box from? Gearbest. I think Vaping 101 might have them in. Um, who else? Gearbest. Vaping 101. Heaven Gifts are bound to have them in because they've constantly got a stock. I'm trying to think of UK sites, but I can't think of any. Nature Vape might have them in. Naturevape.co.uk. But I don't know. Okie doke, Mr. 2.5 Ohm. Catch you later on. Jacqueline Buck. Vic, tell Kev it's down, cheeky git. <laughs> so, they're both watching the show and I'm passing messages on each of them. <laughs> there we go. Ian's got your belly and grumpy lumpy. Nature Vape has the SXK billet box. Is it in stock? Probably is, to be honest, because the SXK billet box is quite an old bit of kit now, so they've probably still got them in stock. <clears throat> yeah, they shouldn't have messed with the original Iron Brew. There was nothing wrong with it. Is the UK VS on this week, Vic? Yes, it is, Polly, and it's on tomorrow. In stock, Victor, 80 quid. Wow, C considering how old the SXK... Mind you, is, is it the new version? I think the billet box is up to revision 4. Or is it revision 4.5? I can't fucking remember. There's that bloody many of them. If it's the latest one for 80 quid, the new version of it, that's actually not a bad price, to be honest. Shortbread's out. Yummy. Oh, shortbread. Oh. Oh, I love a bit of shortbread with a cup of tea. <laughs> What's the best dual 18650 mod to get for a decent price? Also best flavour RTA. The best 18650 mod for a decent price. V-Boy 200 which is this little fella here. They're still for sale, and the price for these has dropped significantly from when they were brand new. It's got a yee chip inside it as well. Best flavour RTA. I'm going to go with the off-gear RTA for single coil, to be honest. Would it be version 4.85 and I See, I can't keep up with the... Di There's so many bloody versions of that billet box out now. You can't keep up with them. G-Class are a good price. No, you elitist. You elitist. <laughs> Says someone using a Q-Mini. Oh, well, here we go. Mark Benson, how you doing? Oh, fuck, I better fill this tank. It's empty. Vic, what do you think about governments doing for vapes in jails? I think it's a good idea, Ian, uh, getting people in jail to give up smoking and move to vaping. I think it's a damn good idea. Says the one who has at least three G classes. N no, no, I've only got two in the house. The other one's up in the studio. <laughs> Billet box V. So it's the new one then. It's the V4 style, right? So it is the new one. That's good. 80 quid. Nothing wrong with that. Night, Drew. I'm vaping on the Nautilus AIO with no nicotine in my liquid. Do you think that's daft? No, Jacqueline, because I actually know quite a lot of people that vape just for the flavours. They don't vape for the nicotine anymore. <laughs> Said someone with a vicious... Uh, vi <laughs> okay, yeah, I've got a vicious ant spade. I admit that. <laughs> Beginner RTA, Zeus or Serpent Elevate? Serpent Elevate, Terry. Zeus can be a little bit tricky to coil on. Evening Vic, do you wish the Kylan 2 had a standard top fill instead of a slide top? I'm actually, I, I don't mind the slide top on this tank. I don't mind the slide top at all. Night, Tony! 1G class and two broken ones. One auto fires and one won't connect to PC now. Wow, ouch. Damn no. How many Yee Hee mods do you have now? Pfft. Blue Camo G Class. 
black and gold G-Class, blue Kevlar G-Class, uh, the Q-Mini, I've got the SL-Class, I've got the T-Class with the fidget spinners, and I've got the other one. What's, the, what's that other one? This one. There we go, I've got the MX-Class as well. The only one, the only one from the new, the newer lineup that I don't have is the original Q class, which is the big brother of that. I've got the Q mini, but I don't have the original Q class. That's the one that's missing from the lineup. <clears throat> whose turn is it for casters' questions? I don't have a clue, Daniel. I don't have a clue whose turn it is. Unicron, how you doing? Stavros, yes, I've seen the the yee auto squonk. I think that's been held back though. Happy New Year, Gary. Have you seen the new SL class bit? Yeah, well, the, the SL class has been out for a while, Moosh. Did you ever buy the Hannas? Never. Hold on. Did I have a Hannah? I think I had a Hannah clone. I never had an original Hannah though. Okay, you're an elitist cunt. Yeah, thanks, Pauline. Thanks. <laughs> Ian, the vaping ice cream man. Vic, wife keeps moaning because I'm setting smoke alarms off <laughs> when I'm watching your vids middle of the night. Oops. Do you recommend upgrade to Lux? from Revenger X, enjoy Ruby. Well, here's the thing, the Lux and the Revenger X, there isn't much of a difference between the two of them. The Lux has got a newer chip, a newer board compared to the Revenger X, but all I can say is, if you are still enjoying the Revenger X, it's not really worth upgrading it to the, it's not really worth upgrading it to the Revenger Lux, because there's not, there's not much of a difference between the two mods. Newer chip and newer board in the Lux compared to the Revenger, but if your Revenger's working fine, just keep using it. Vic, is the Torrin RTA worth a purchase? Don't know, because I've never actually used the Torrin before. <sighs> anyway, folks, I'm going to pop off. It's fucking hell, it's quarter to eleven. I was only supposed to cast for half an hour, and it's quarter to eleven. Fucking hell. I need to toddle off because I need to I need to go and do the draw. Uh, I need to go and do the draw for the uh, latest prize for the Facebook group, which I think is this, which is actually the I think this is the Vapor So Lux, yeah, it's the Lux, and the Geek Vape Creed. This is being given away in the Facebook group uh, tonight, actually after the live show. So tomorrow, um, the first review of twenty nineteen goes up. It's going to be the Artery Baton. The Artery Batten, basically. Uh, that's the review that's going to be up tomorrow. And, uh, of course, the UK Vape Show makes its return for Season 3, Episode 1. Because we're resetting it back to the, the new season because it's a new year. And that way it's lower number so we don't get confused remembering what fucking number it is. So, yeah, Season 3, Episode 1 of the UK Vape Show returns with the usual crowd. Myself, Mark the Vaping Postman, Chris Empire Vape Co, and, of course, Dean the Devil Vapor. That is it from me, folks. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one. <laughs>